Good evening, everyone. A very warm welcome to all of you. Uh, we are pleased and enriched to have in our midst Professor Onindu Shengupto, who will be delivering the talk of the month for December right now. Professor Shengupto holds the post of Assistant Professor in the Department of Film Studies in Jadavpur University. He has recently submitted his doctoral thesis on audio criticism and Shotojit Ray. He has also written a science fiction novel titled Oparthivo. Professor Shane Gupta has taught Hollywood cinema, post classical film theory, spatial, audios, film, and other arts. We are very eager to hear his views on the audio. And as the title goes for today's talk of the month, the title of Professor Shane Gupta's talk is What was the within quotes, audio in cinema, question mark. Do we need him within quotes anymore, question mark. So we are very eager to hear him share his views on audio and the consciousness that goes with the person audio behind this great project that every film is. Uh, I feel and I, along with my colleagues, are eagerly waiting to hear him share his views. I now request our head of the department, Dr. Mohipash Mondol, to deliver the welcome address. And please be noted that we are recording the presentation. Thank you. Thank you very much, Onivanda. Uh, uh, I feel really privileged to be able to host Dr. Anindo Shengupto as part of our Talk of the Month lecture series. Uh, we have already organized some enlightening talks in this series. I remember we hosted Professor Chinmay Guho, who spoke on Friends' new novel. And recently, we had the privilege of hosting Dr. Kartik Ram Manaharan, uh, who spoke on the political philosophy of Periyar. This implies that uh, we try to organize, uh, arrange talks which are wide ranging, uh, thought provoking and are of contemporary relevance. Uh, I'm very happy that Onindu has become a part of this series because as a matter of fact, my introduction to film studies happened around 10 years back when I attended a course on film appreciation at the Department of Film Studies, Yadopi University. Onindu introduced us to the concept of audio by way of discussing the works of the legendary French filmmaker, Francois Truffaut. That is the first time I literally learned how to read films. Films, Onindu informed us, in which directors used camera as a stylus or as a pen. And that was for me the best ever introduction to Truffaut's masterpiece, 400 Blues. I grew up in a village uh, watching Baba Kano Chakur and Shoshur Bari Jindabad, films which I remembered by the names of actors and not by directors. I know the directors now. At that point of time, I only knew uh, they were films of by uh, Prashenjit Chattopadhyay. Posenjit, uh, as he is fondly called, uh, is what defines cinema for me. Uh, I should confess uh, that when I started watching the works of uh, Jalu Godar and Louis Bunuel in my student days at Jalup University, uh, this didn't really make much sense initially. Uh, maybe they're not supposed to uh, make sense immediately. But on Indoda's lectures, uh, opened up new ways of looking at the works of these directors. I realized for the first time that difference between films known by their actors and those known by the directors, the audios. The difference between what is uh, known as art film and commercial cinema. And I'm sure this is a very problematic binary and the present talk might help us uh, deconstruct this binary. The title of Anirudha's talk, as Onirvanda has very rightly emphasized the punctuation marks 
and the uh, question. The title is very provocative, as, as I understand it. Uh, it tries to historicize the auteur as well as gender, genders the discourse of auteur. So there is, uh, you know, auteur is a historical event. Auteur came into existence and then vanished, probably. Or the more important question is, do we need the auteur any longer? Uh, so probably uh, it's a historical event that the auteur perhaps doesn't exist. When he says, what was, was the auteur, the verb, referring to the past tense. So there is an attempt to historicize the discourse of auteur, and there is also an attempt to gender the discourse. Auteur is a him. It's a, it's a male director we're talking about. So very interesting way to historicize and to gender the discourse. It's a very provocative title. And I'm really looking forward to uh, you know, hear more about it. So I'm absolutely certain that this talk is going to be an eye opener for many of us. And my students in particular are going to benefit immensely. The way I had enriched by on a decade back, I still remember. Uh, once again, a very warm welcome uh, to Dr. Anindu Shengupto on behalf of the Department of English Research University. I'm really, really happy on Inoda that you could make it and I'm honored to be able to host you. Thank you. Um, so am I being audible, the monitors? Yes, uh, just a uh, second. Yes, on So I will. Uh, so I'm beginning my uh, talk. Rather, right. first of all, uh, thanks to uh, Department of English Presidency University. It's an honor to deliver a lecture in this uh, series, and I'm not going over the board. Why a lecture? Uh, why an invitation from the Department of English Presidency? college is honorable it's culturally understandable so thanks Mohitosh uh, kind words he introduced me with kind words uh, when we actually 10 years back when we actually met uh, in a appreciation course and and let's begin right away and Mohitosh has already kind of introduced uh, um, what uh, the title might mean, which indeed uh, is a bit in, uh, provocative in a tongue of chick way, but um, let's see, let's see if this this entire talk uh, might be able to raise certain questions regarding the OTR. Uh, I wanted to actually be a bit uh, provocative because we are talking about certain ubiquitous kind of terms here. The term auteur, though it's, uh, it, uh, it, it has now been part of the, uh, it's part of the journalistic parlance, one can say. Uh, so the auteur, the term auteur is not exactly unknown to people who read about cinema, even journalistic writings about cinema uh, in English. And, and the notion of art cinema is also so known to us in a way that sometimes we don't know exactly what it means, what it might mean, or 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 uh, has the meaning of this term, so-called art cinema, with which the term auteur is kind of curiously linked. I will say curiously, and I will explain why. Because um, I'm thinking that whether when this term originated, in the end of the 50s and early 60s, uh, uh, so on and so forth, it does does it mean the same still? Uh, so this this is the question with beginning. But but primarily, I should, as Moita said, I should historize it because the first part of the lecture is titled "What Was the Author." Uh, a, a bit more later, as the talk goes on about the past tense, about the used past tense. But uh, let's. Let's try uh, to to very briefly. So, might be a, a, a bit dissatisfactorily to me um, because it will be so brief. 
that uh, let's try to understand what the auteur was and why the term is not translated. It's a French term. So, in, so the idea is, the, what is the, an auteur of cinema? And it does not exactly mean that what is an author of cinema? And that's why it's not translated. It's not uh, the auteur, the term auteur and the term author is not easily uh, interchangeable. Because the notion of authorship, which is connected to the notion of copyright, uh, is something very interesting in cinema. Because as you understand, that cinema was not meant to be an art medium right from the beginning. It was not meant to tell stories even. Hmm. Cinemas, when Lumiere, when the Lumiere brothers, they kind of, uh, one can't say invented cinema, they, but they brought together the uh, uh, entire kind of apparatus uh, in a, into place, uh, something which was being tried by others previously. And they, what they successfully did, it give it a certain kind of stability for the time being, and they popularized the medium. They, they immediately started touring the world with this new strange thing, one can say. And it was not meant to tell stories. It was not uh, invented as a kind of art medium. One can say that cinema, and this would be, very, it would be important now, it might actually have certain kind of connotation in can say, that cinema was a way of recording the world Cinema was a way of restructuring the world, and cinema was a way of replaying that recorded and restructured thing to the world. If you can say that this is the minimal definition of cinema. But it, uh, those were exciting times. So uh, within a couple of decades or so, cinema kind of uh, in the hands of enthusiastic, energetic individuals and group of individuals, cinema turned into an art form and a narrative form simultaneously um, uh, by 1920s. It was a quite a sophisticated kind of uh, art form. So then, interestingly, the notion of art cinema was not coined in 1920s, which was one of the most important moment of cinema as an art form. Uh, it was a silent era. And there were this kind of expressionist cinema, the, the Soviet constructivist cinema, the surrealist cinema, and almost all kind of uh, avant-garde art movement in Europe. They had this, this very fruitful flirtation with this new medium. And uh, across the Atlantic, uh, in, in Hollywood, uh, in um, Hollywood, in America, in Hollywood, that's the western part of America where the industry was produced, cinema was rapidly developing into a very sophisticated narrative medium. Uh, uh, and this was happening in the 1920s. The art, the term, sorry, the term art cinema evolved later. One can say that this term was kind of necessarily a post sound era term. This term uh, kind, kind, of, uh, uh, kind of came into being later in the end of the 50s and, and, and early 60s uh, to, to designate something new. And what is important to us, and this I think I, I would like to underline this right now, that what was important that art cinema at that time was, a, was one of the possibilities of cinema. It was a kind of possible cinema, not cinema as it is, not cinema as it has been in the last 50 years or so, but one of the possibilities of cinema. And this was particularly evident in a famous essay, now a classical essay. Again, we'll talk about a French term which is not translated. And as Mohitosh has already mentioned this term, that is, in a 1948 essay written by Alexandre Astruc, uh, the 
the the the essay was titled la camera stilo the birth of a new our god so he was talking about a possible new our god kind of cinema a uh, our god kind of cinema which will be different in the way that it would be like a pen in the hand of an individual artist here both the notion of pen and the individual is is important and therefore he he kind of described this kind of this kind of not this kind of cinema actually this kind of project one can say as the camera pen or camera stillo and and this term was actually untranslated when the the, the entire um, uh, when the essay was translated into kind of uh, into english camera stillo which means the camera pen so now the camera would be as flexible number 1 and secondly very importantly as cheap as a pen because it's like a pen uh, it will be like a pen uh, uh, in the hand of an individual when when an individual writer takes up his pen he can write a short story he can start writing a novel he can write a poem he can write a letter he can write a, write an essay so in his format is not kind of kind of limited and he uh, alexander asuk said that now is the time when cinema can actually can be as free as like that of a pen the way the pen is not restricted to write a novel when the artist takes up in, takes it up in his hand and uh, the form is can be as flexible and the expressions can be as individualistic as in the hands of a, an individual so this is say this is say the is say the law camera still of the birth of a new avagard is easily available in the net if you read it then you will see it's a short essay not a very long essay that the, the essay was fairly utopian and and fairly utopian very dreamy and it even kind of dreamt of certain possibilities of cinema in 1948 which one can say it has still not been fully materialized or fully popularized or uh, fully uh, fully kind of uh, accommodated into culture one can say um so one can say that this essay along with many other kind of discourses the notion of art cinema and the auteur cinema though the term auteur was not used in this essay was slowly developing that is a cinema as a serious medium of art a serious medium of artistic expression of artistic uh, artistic one can say a kind of artistic um, project and which uh, will be helmed by an individual an individual artist so the 1948 so the, it, it was just after the second world war and in the, after the second world war mainly in europe we see a kind of reorganization of cinema as a public uh, a, a medium one can say was be, uh, was having slow permutations and combinations that is one one on the one hand the 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 public exhi- the exhibition of cinema in theater started after the war years uh, in a, in a, in full flourish and this was actually the moment uh, and it was a political moment one can say that when hollywood became where america became one of the superpowers in the world and hollywood also became a superpower in a kind of cinematic world one can say and at that moment The, along with hollywood there was another kind of restructuring which was taking place this in film clubs film journals film societies and 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 uh, art house cinemas in where a different organization of cinema was taking place and one of the important events related to this would be the film festivals and the film festivals they started mapping the world in a different kind of way they started mapping the world the initial kind of desire was to map the world in terms of cinema which was not really industrial mainstream cinema so now this 
term will be important for us that is the notion of mainstream uh to us uh, the, the this binary this journalistic binary of art cinema and commercial cinema is doesn't re- really satisfy actually it, it's it's not a, a very kind of apt kind of binary one can say uh but the the, the term commercial because in a way all films are commercial in the sense that all films are to be commercially released commercially exhibited and commercially produced one can say uh, there had been attempts to escape a certain kind of commercial kind of uh, setup but at least we can say the if not the all most cinema we talk about serious or non serious uh, high culture or low culture or something like that almost most cinemas we talk about they are commercially produced and they are commercially exhibited and they are part of the consumer culture so so commercial non commercial is not a very valid kind of binary here but one can say the a notion of mainstream and non mainstream that they came up where the mainstream can be conflated equal conflated to the largely the consumer uh driven commercial cinema which took place but mainstream as you know is a very broad broad kind of um uh, category so uh, the film festivals they were trying to map the inter inter world in terms of non mainstream cinema if one can put it that way loosely and this mapping was was uh, happened in this way that the inter world there will be a kind of exploration of western and non western national cinemas and this national cinemas will be comprised by not necessarily the box office successful films industrially successful films but masterpieces films in other words art cinema and in other words which kind of cinema in a kind of cinema where the artistic they have a, a kind of full command over the film and here the term command will become very important ha huh? in that sense so here in this sphere the notion of art cinema slowly developed art cinema as a kind of alternative cinema so we can actually the reconfigure that binary of commercial and art cinema in terms of mainstream and alternative cinema which is a bit more might be might be a bit more satisfying so within this alternative circuit there was this deep desire to see cinema as an art medium and the individual artist uh, in the helm of the affairs that is in uh, the, the, the how how a film would be the an kind of individual kind of expression now what will be important for us in this lecture at least we can't actually uh, uh, describe this moment exhaustively that's impossible actually but what will be important for us that this was also the moment when there was a critical desire for a kind of what your cinema art cinema or what your cinema i i am i'm i'm underlining emphasizing this term critical desire because i think it will be important in the latter half of my uh, talk so it was it was uh, largely The, the vehement, militant, and very young kind of the 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 people who actually uh, kind of were involved at this moment they were very young in the twenties. That is the writers in the famous film journal called Cahier du Cinema in the nineteen fifties. They started. a uh, kind of uh, advocating about a way of looking at a certain cinema not cinema in its entirety a certain cinema a certain percentage of cinema as a cinema of otios and they used the term otior and there was this famous dictum of the politic des otior one can say A, a policy of auteurs that is and and importantly this was not a film making policy but a way of reading cinema the way of reading cinema 
existing cinema. So what did they say? They said that if cinema is to be appraised in a new and more energetic way, cinema should be understood in terms of the individual artists behind it. Now, this entire proposition, this entire proposition was not actually uh, taken uh, as a given the way we can now take it. Now, this is something uh, not debatable anymore. The director is the author, author of, the, of the film. Uh, it uh, it has become almost kind of thoughtlessly naturalized in in, in our days, and I will try to try to actually speak about how it became naturalized um, in the in the in the in the following decades after nineteen after nineteen fifties. But at that time, there were uh, serious uh, people, um, um, art. Uh, commentators on art and also serious commentators on cinema, they said that this was a kind of very high, tall kind of claim because uh, because cinema is an industrial art, cinema is a collective art, there are too many uh, people involved in it, too much money, too, much, too many machines involved in in cinema in, in, in and, and a huge infrastructure involved in cinema in a kind of way. So one cannot actually... Uh, compare it to Picasso's canvas or Apollinaire's piece of paper on which he's writing poetry or, 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 or Sartre's essay or something like that. Uh, cinema is too messy, one can say. Too messy involves too many people so that we could to designate it as a medium of one single person. So this was a serious kind of, uh, kind of uh, one can say, a serious way of countering this young people's uh, uh, point, uh, bone of contention at that moment, that cinema should be understood uh, as a medium of an individual and the director might be the author of a film. So the, this, this, this Cahier du Cinema Critics, they immediately, they, what they did, is they tried to prove their point in the place and and they were young uh, so 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 they were courageous one can say uh, and say they, they tried to prove their point in in a place where it is most kind of uh, impossible to prove that cinema is a is is a medium of individual expression that is they said that if they look at hollywood cinema in a certain kind of way then it's possible to see that how certain directors, how certain renowned, not only renowned directors, but also certain directors who are kind of minority, certain directors who work in B-movies, so on and so forth, that they are actually auteurs of, of films in the way that now comes certain uh, parameters, that in the way that they have supreme command over their craft, one, two, they have their uh, cinema kind of shows an uh, individual signature in their stylistics. Two, and number three, that's the most important thing. They have a distinct kind of worldview. That is, if you look at this film directors, the works of these directors, they are stylistically homogeneous or stylistic stylistically consistent, and they also have they also have a kind of worldview which is unique to that of the director. What is important, and here I think it becomes important how certain terms, certain notions, they get culturally translated into other cultures, that when the Kaidu cinema uh, critics, they try to prove the existence of a kind of auteur cinema, or the existence of auteur in cinema, and director being the auteur, they proved it in so-called mainstream commercial films because Hollywood was presenting Hollywood didn't have that kind of binary they actually the, so the initial energetic writings of Kaidu cinema is that the auteurs are found in mainstream commercial films so John Ford Alfred Hitchcock William Wyler Douglas Sirk so and so forth lots and lots and lots of auteurs they actually uh, they, they celebrated they didn't actually consciously uh, make art films. Okay, so they found auteurs in already existing 
what you, what will be to us commercial terms so this notion of auteur uh, being uh, being coupled with art cinema uh, only only it's something which is peculiarly indian or bengali one can say uh, the initial kaidu exercise didn't make this kind of uh, this kind of um, uh, uh, binaries but within europe there were where now, understandably since the entire world was then being dominated uh, vigorously by hollywood cinema mainly in european cinema to counter now something which didn't actually happen here in india because we have a very uh, kind of thriving popular film industry here and a popular film culture here so we were a certain we or the places like japan they were kind of exceptions but mainly in europe uh, hollywood kind of dominated the commercial circuit so slowly the the, the filmmakers in europe they understood, understood that to counter cinema one can't count, counter hollywood on the turf of commercial mainstream films one ha- can actually uh, produce an alternative kind of sphere of a certain kind of art cinema and Uh, and this is this kind of cinema should be the cinema which the state the post war states the post war government the states so should promote and should subsidize, subsidize. and uh, uh, in a kind of and in other words should protect should 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 give exemptions of tax and so on and so forth this kind of new kind of cinema so a new national cinema which was entirely built in a alternative kind of cinema this started because this start this process started at that moment but we'll not go into it because as i said that we can't be exhaustive very exhaustive regarding there we will now limit ourselves to a kind of criticism a a a, a critical to the critical sphere only because my contention is that the term otior imbue uh, kind of uh, it 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 kind it encapsulates a certain historical crit- desire in the critical sphere that is people who are writing about cinema or if not writing people who are engaging with cinema in a kind of serious kind of way uh, a kind of serious kind of um, engagement the term, term engagement becomes apt here in cinema in which writing about cinema talking about cinema writing about cinema with with a certain kind of seriousness becomes important in this sphere the auteur was a kind of desire because as we immediately see that the term auteur and this the center what the politic there's there's auteur writers who will within a few years become all will all become leading figures in the french new wave movement that is jean luc godard françois truffaut uh, eric romar claude chabrol so on and so forth jacques rebet so on and so forth and there are many other names they will immediately turn into filmmaking uh, but what they write wrote and what they kind of proposed what imi was immediately translated into the other side of atlantic that is in america in the united states of america in a very curious kind of way So Andrew Sarris was one of the uh, leading critics at that time. He translated this politic desertion, uh, which can be roughly translated as uh, policy of atheos, one can say, into something, and this term was called atheo atheo theory. Now the term was wrong at the beginning because theory is something which can actually, which should be uh, theory is something which should be all encompassing. Theory is a one can say theory is a kind of structure of thinking, and theory is not about few bits and pieces. But the political days out here was not about cinema in its entirety. It was about the few. They said, few directors have total command over their craft. Even fewer have a consistent signature. 
even fewer have a both a consistent signature and a command of a craft and a distinct world view so the politic desert desert here is was about the tip of an iceberg it about it's of the tip of a pyramid so it talked about the small apex of cinema in that can one one can say so it cannot be termed as something called a theory because theory is all encompassing in the way of feminist uh, film theory actually can deal with a film like 12 angry man where there is no woman at all uh, so so in that sense uh, the theory feminist film theory the way feminist film theory can talk about masculinity similarly the way uh, marxist film theory should not be only dealing with films which is dealing with working class in that sense so theory must be all encompassing theory must be exhaustive in that sense politic disorder was not a theory but andrew sarris kind of translated into it into autier theory and immediately he started popularizing autier theory as autier criticism in america and now we understand that implicit behind that was a kind of nationalistic idea to prove that how american film directors are actually if not more but equally uh, important and equally kind of fruitful like that of uh, like that of european uh, film directors so there was a kind of implicit nationalist project behind andrew sardis now one problem of understanding cinema as an expression of the individual artist and here the artist is only the director and all other artists the 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 cinematographer the 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 actor everyone is subsumed uh, to the to, to the uh, directorial vision in this perspective very kind of uh, quickly this notion they came into into certain they hit a few hurdles one of the greatest hurdle was the notion of intention as you mane most of you as uh, students of literature are aware of the idea of intentional fallacy so and and so forth the affective fallacy the intentional fallacy and uh, so here the uh, notion of the intention become very kind of uh, kind, kind kind of uh, uh, a difficult obstacle the idea is that the way the critics are writing about the films did the otior intend to and one of the most embarrassing moment in the in the history of cinema was peter bogdanovich who was a critic who later they become a kind of filmmaker too interviewing john ford and asking john ford about certain finer subtle nuanced readings of his films ford's films and ford dismissing it very roughly saying that no i didn't intend those things these are you were reading things into it i make commercial films i make westerns and i make films that are only entertainers and there is no meaning behind it so it was a huge kind of embarrassment but slowly it was understood that that this structure of of uh, of reading cinema cannot go on so so this critical theory the the otio criticism they need certain kind of regimentation certain kind of disciplining one can say and immediately so it was this this was in the mid 60s and immediately uh structuralism came into rescue so something called the otio structuralism uh, immediately came into foray and this and this was an important moment and this was one this there was this famous chapter uh, uh, in uh, peter olen's science and meanings and cinema where he elaborates that how a new kind of criticism cannot actually assign things which are found in the text into that of the individual director behind it the otior is not the individual's intention behind it the otior is something otior is one of the many structures here structure becomes very important one of the stru many struct 
actors found by the viewer specialized viewer slash critic in the films this is a very important turn here because now auteur becomes an object which is not given like that of the figure of shotuitrai or the figure of orson welles or the figure of rithik ghatak what he intended to do instead it becomes a uh, some it becomes a critical construction so famously peter ullen said that the way i have used the single quotes in the title peter ullen says that within single quote alfred hitchcock is not equal to alfred hitchcock the person the alfred hitchcock the structure the audio structure is to be found in the films in the critical reading of the films so this way they 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 kind of escape the so called embarrassment where the uh, or where the uh, revered auteur say that he didn't mean these things in that in the in this way also and so forth gave more freedom to the viewer and the critic to make meaning of of the films but also very importantly it also kind of now this i can't actually go detail into it needs a classroom situation and uh, and the essay reading the essay uh, between the lines to 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 explain what i'm what i'll be saying next that the peter ullen's essay in science and meaning of cinema was though it was a structuralist essay was curiously very curiously kind of uh, informed by psychoanalysis and in a very peculiar kind of way one can say uh psycho one one can say it was intended psychoanalysis was was used as a con- conscious method but the language and the notions of psychoanalysis mainly lacanian and freudian psych- psychoanalysis they shifted into peter ullen say say where the one was actually talking about the unconscious of the cinema of the film the 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 unconscious meanings which might creep creep up which might come into plain sight if one is looking closely at a film text a, a series of film text so on and so forth and this be, this become important but the post structuralist turn was right on the way and this were exciting time so within a decade lots and lots of things were happening and to two two essays importantly one one can actually talk about the two essays are uh, essays which most probably us students of literature i'm largely to, uh, i'm talking about uh, the the students of uh, department of english that you were aware of these two essays they came up by the end of the 1960s one is uh, the death of an author by rola bart and one can say when the death of an author was kind of polemically announced by rola bart it was a polemical kind of not 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 entire to be taken seriously entirely uh, but a kind of it, it it was a kind of shaking up a kind of shaking up of complacent kind of habits of reading texts one can say that when rola bart did it and announced the death of an author and immediately it was followed by michel pukos what is an author which we can say that it was a post mortem of an mortem of the author of the dead author one can say that what exactly the way i actually structured my ti- my title what was the author so an uh, along man, along his man, in history in the recent history after the advent of modernity what was the author uh, author in ganse but as i said that uh, author criticism was not exactly about the author it was about the significant author it was about the renowned author this essays and the post structuralist turns and many other things which i cannot actually go into details right now because then the entire thing will be turn into a classroom lecture of sort i'm i'm uh, i'm losing time huh. but there was the autio criticism immediately with the post structuralist turn they came into a kind of halt and the entire project the theoretical project here the theoretical project becomes very important they immediately was either postponed or abandoned or forgotten in a sense 
because it was now slowly this notion of the individual artist behind a medium like cinema it became very problematic to theorize and we see that if we think of the auteo criticism as such auteo criticism lost its steam by the uh, mid of the 1970s but uh uh writings about directors famous directors writing uh, about bunuel bogman hitchcock and this three names primarily comes in tarkovsky uh, uh ford uh so on and so forth they continued so there was this peculiar situation there was certain things definitely certain things in the next decades or so till that there were certain things about writings about films of great autios but it continued without any theory so there was no theory in the sense that no one knows that what does it systematically mean anymore no one knows anymore that what does it systematically mean to be when one is talking about a great director and his films what is the greatness is the greatness the given and therefore you take up few films or is the greatness to be is to be arrived at after critical after the critical project so is the greatness something which you which is the resultant of the critical exercise or is the is greatness of a film or a director or something is the condition of writing something this films are great this author is great and therefore i am writing about it or is it the other way around i will i will write about a group of films and i will prove that the director or the film is great which is which is it because the notion of the greatness is some, something you cannot actually exercise it from the author but interestingly it was during this time when something else was happening and that was important that is important the studio era that is the, the the studio structure through which hollywood came into prominence it kind of ended by the end of 1950s and early 60s and in that studio structure the studio production structure and and uh, uh, and in the 1970s slowly hollywood being one of the models of uh, commercial Uh, distribution and exhibition of cinema or production distribution and exhibition of the cinema all over the world understood that neither the studio nor even jones because that was, this is the moment when one one of my favorite jones and one of the most most important jones in the history of 20th century uh, cinema was coming to a very sad demise one can say that is the westerns the westerns were dying out slowly as a, as a viable genre neither genre nor studio can guarantee the success and prominence of a film this is something which hollywood understood understood by that time but one new figure can actually so instead of saying this film is a warner brothers films and therefore this is uh, this is prestigious or saying that this film is a gangster film and therefore it's it's commercially viable um, another new commercially viable term has arrived that is the renowned director in other words autor now what was a uh, uh, european across the atlantic critical intellectual term now becomes a, a kind of commercially viable term so now Be, it becomes important that there is a George Lucas film, there is a Steven Spielberg film, there is a Martin Scorsese film, and so on and so forth. So the, the films can be uh, can be marketed primarily in terms of the director behind it. So this was not exactly the thing which the critical space was was actually uh, kind kind of pursuing, and therefore I said that I cannot be exhaustive. the term autor has many dimensions to it so even during the 1970s and 80s one can say the term was assumed and hijacked by the by by the by the commercial industry in a new kind of way and slowly we will see it will seep seep into bollywood also 
the way a ram gopal varma film or a manmohan desai film or a, a letter anurag kashyap film will become so important it will it will become marketable brands just just chopra so just chopra if you see just chopra's entire career then they will you will see that at the end of the film he will have something called a just chopra brand of filmmaking not in a, in his um, most significant part of his career but but, but at the fag end of the career so that this is this is this is how the term otior gets kind of redefined rehauled in a new kind of way okay so this was a, so something strange was happening the critical space lacked confidence about something called out your theory and the commercial space instead asserted the theory in an energetic new kind of way and i would say that this was also the time this was also the moment when slowly and this is my contention the term art cinema was also losing its earlier connotation earlier meaning because now the art cinema something called art cinema is becoming like a genre what is a genre a genre is a certain configuration of the textual part of the cinema the production but also it's it's also a certain a certain kind of configuration of the type of audience it kind of desires so the so the gangster film would appeal to a, a section of a male crowd might be which the romantic comedy might not appeal or 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 a domestic melodrama might not appeal so the way genre actually configures also the spectator we can say by the 1980s or 1990s art cinema is becoming like a category and by a category it's a commercial category that art cinema is a kind of films of a certain aesthetic of films of a certain orientation of films and and the the distributors would start using this term to classify orient classify the films in a certain kind of way and orient the expectation of the audience in a certain kind of way so, so on and so forth so it was not exactly the term as it began it is another commercial category it's another category to you which is usable for the commerce of the film in the sense where the film how the film will be showed sold what it will be exhibited or showed to him it will be sold to to what viewers who which kind of uh, uh, category of viewers will consume it and this will have i think very implicit but serious implications on cinema because as we understand that art cinema in 19 19 late 1950s or 1960s that was which i told actually when i was mentioning the the alexander astruk essay the art cinema was a cinema of possibility a possible cinema now it becomes art cinema uh, what is art cinema art cinema is a thing which is exists art cinema becomes a, a shelf when you while you where you put certain films into and and where you don't put certain films into where you put and where you don't put so it, it becomes a classificatory a, a taxonomic kind of category instead of 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 a, of a possible cinema now what does the possible cinema mean now in that sense when i'm saying a kind of possible cinema what does it mean it means two things it means what kind of possibilities are there cinema as envisaged by engaged viewers and writers about cinema and also what kind of cinema are the filmmakers are the practicing filmmakers uh, they kind of envisioning as a cinema to parts you in the latter years a possible cinema is this a cinema of the future but suddenly this thing stopped being a cinema of the future it becomes a taxonomic kind of category through which you can you can actually organize things now i have 
মানে আই হ্যাভ ওনলি টুয়েলভ মিনিটস অর সো সো অ্যাবাউট মাই শিডিউল টাইম লেফট বিহাইন্ড সো আই আই উইল কাইন্ড অফ ট্রাই টু বি কুইক ইন ইন দ্য এন্টায়ার থিং অ্যাজ ইউজুয়াল আর্ট সিনেমা বোথ দ্য টার্ম আর্ট সিনেমা অ্যান্ড অটো সিনেমা কেম ইন্টু ক্রিটিক্স ইন্টু ক্রিটিসিজম from a kind of from emerging perspectives and one word one perspective was the gender so there was a peculiar thing arts now when we look back at art cinema or otio cinema we understand that it was hugely a boys club and this this notion was kind of implicit behind it that who is an otio who is a great artist only a man can be that and it was not said that woman cannot be that but if you think of the term otior and if you think for example shotwitra you will see that how shotwitra enter career is of more and more control about about the entirety of cinema so he take he, he brings the music into his control he brings designing into his control the poster designing into con- control he starts rolling the camera so it's about this all encompassing control over the medium without which something cannot be delivered as envisioned by the uh, by filmmaker in in that sense so a sense of power and also a sense of privilege was implicit into the, this entire thing and therefore only men they enjoyed this kind of privilege and therefore when we think of art cinema when we think of the concerns of art cinema not only now it can be understood that these concerns are largely masculine even the existential crisis or the angst or so on and so forth these were largely not only masculine but it was also white it was also anglo saxon it was protestant and it was also many in 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 in, in many a way a, a, a kind of heterosexual kind of Uh, identity was implicit behind this and that term interestingly so mane for another very very uh, remarkable example one can say that the term otio cinema was immediately associated with uh with with uh, french new wave because the french new wave filmmakers who were previously critics they uh, actually introduced this term but immediately the canon formation happened to about this five boys okay godard to for rivet roma shabral where now we understand that most probably the most remarkable and most consistent this becomes very important consistent and persistent new wave filmmaker was actually apart from jean luc godard agnes varda sure and 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 uh, that is a woman who fell out of the canon one one filmmaker who remain who actually uh, held the new new spirit till her death few years back and we can say that the enter new wave spirit w- was persistent along with this three long living actually this two long living figures uh, one was agnes varda who died few years back and another is the jalu godar who is fortunately t- still living so and agnes varda kind of fell out of the canon immediately it was uh, that the, the canon formed was immediately very male but interestingly the no- only the notion and the structure of art cinema actually helped for the feminist film critics actually or theorists and critics they used the structure of arts or your criticism in a certain kind of way to rediscover forgotten uh women directors like dorothy arsner and nida lupino and also to 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 open up a space for a future filmmakers like shantal akherman and others uh, uh martha mezeros and others and this becomes so important this double take one was the 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 male hegemony over the center thing and another another was the one can say the female the feminist subversion of the entire thing but this term otior still now is largely kind of masculine because it was about power and it was about privilege and other privileges also come on now so so we can actually ask in 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 our context 
and we can look back into the context of european cinema and say that can a non christian a non white be an auteur in 1960s and 1950s uh, kind of uh, kind of european and american cinema is it possible to be an auteur similarly is it possible to be a person who is not of the upper caste to be a uh, auteur in bangla cinema or in indian cinema these are the question which actually can. how can one reach the the kind of prominence which was to be an auteur this questions open immediately opens up and we understand that the term auteur is most probably not only associated with a certain era of celluloid film making for theatrical uh, theatrical release but this term auteur one can say that does it actually survives uh, when uh, cinema slowly mutates to videos to digital medium and the modern kind of media ecology or even one can say that the the the, the novelistic feature film format which was preferred by the otios in the 1950s 60s and 70s is it still the ideal preferable format of an artistic expression now one can one can ask this question is the web series more novelistic and therefore more contemplative since it's longer or if you if a, if a, is or is a short film released on the internet uh, uh, in a in a artisanal way a more freer medium of cinematic of cinematic expression do expression to be authoristic need to be very precise and brief now that nowadays because as you increase the length of the entire thing it becomes more more and more uh, costly it, it becomes it needs lots and lots of infrastructure so can can cinema or to cinema or a cinema of artistic expression can it survive the novel form or it, will it turn for the poetic form will it be rather a small poem now rather than an epic novel like that of is is belata santandango or or seven hours long film or the film made by labdias the last few dinosaurs of art cinema in that sense because they are novelistic these are the questions which come in it also come in that do we need the notion of a notion to construct the term individual anymore or is a body work body of work is this term any more useful in terms of artistic expression i i i'm particularly i'm particularly reminded of this figure who is known to us banksy if banksy is the artist of the future and we don't know about anything about him except his works is an anonymous artist can cinema be be like that or is cinema's future that the future of a certain kind of art cinema is like that these are the questions which come in but i will end with end this talk with a different question altogether that do we need art cinema anymore and here we means the critical sphere because i think that cinema as a artistic medium in the critical sphere or in the sphere of critical theory academia so on and so forth we have stopped desiring cinema or we have stopped kind of contemplating about cinema we have stopped stopped exploring cinema as a medium of art long ago when uh, uh, this this art cinema was actually declared to be a kind of elitist masculine elitist high class affair and we engaged uh, in, in uh, and it was a much needed term turn actually it was a much needed turn in academia when we when we engage with artifacts uh, literary or cinematic or other, other such cultural productions and popular cultural productions might be and slowly we lost interest on this 
entire thing called and and this uh, this is sometimes actually uh, uh, perceived as quite archaic actually in acad academic spheres in critical spheres that cinema as a, as a as a medium of artistic expression so one can say that in 1950s and 60s art cinema and audio cinema they why did they kind of erupt because certain section of people desired this thing it was a desire of certain kind of cinema now i actually i'm thinking without any answer actually they do we desire it anymore so when a scholar or a critic is writing about cinema what sort of engagement is he or she into what sort of engagement is that engagement passionate or dispassionate does his his or her exercise of thinking and writing about cinema actually bring into account the notion of possibility of images anymore the possibility of local cinema anymore that is when we discuss cinema in academia or in criticism are we concerned up about what cinema would be when we are doing it in presidency college or jadavpur university or in kolkata calcutta university does it involve that what bengali cinema would be like in recent times would be like in the near near future so is critical writing any more about the cinema of the possible is critical writing any more about cinema as a notion of art uh, I, i will end with this the today one of my students uh, who is li also listening to this lecture wrote about a song uh, guru dat's uh, a song from kagaz ke phool uh, which is waqt ne kiya kya hasi sitam and we understand that the critical language is actually not ready to to write about how this song kind of survives survived since it was made and since the film flopped in 1950s because once upon a time there was the art cinema partisans film society kind of figures who didn't think that a film like kagaz ke phool is worthy enough of study and then there was the turn of the more political socially discursive kind of cinema and engaged cinema politically engaged cinema where kagaz ke phool uh, a film like kagaz ke phool would not figure in and then there was this discursive turn about not about a turn to towards a much neglected popular cinema where the term auteur which gurudatt is doesn't figure and then there was the turn to a popular cinema studies a cinema studies of bollywood where a film like kagaz ke phool might not actually figure and this notion this this is an thing about why is this song the way it's picturized the entire production why is it so evocative what does it evoke why is it in other words within quote and quote sublime so these were not the questions which uh, we 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 dealt with so so immediately when you write a passage trying to answer that this film what na kiya kya hasi sitam is so evocative you immediately you go into a subjective language you immediately go into a language which is which is impressionistic you immediately go into a language which is which is not from critical theory anymore so one can say that most probably the art cinema or audio cinema is no longer needed because it was it is not desired but primarily by the sphere which it desired from the beginning that is the critics and the lovers of cinema the cinephiles in that sense because to two cine the, the cinephiles are no longer interested in the possible cinema and that's true to cinephiles of now because now is the moment 
after the advent of the internet after the advent of the peer to peer torrent kind of sharing of cinema that cine fields are obsessive obsessive beings cine fields are beings who obsess about the cinema of the yester years that is the cinema of the 20th century or or or, or certain films of nowadays which bear a certain kind of kinship of the cinema of the yester years so so a cine film i can actually mane quite contentiously so in a provocative way i describe a cine film to be a person who no longer bothers if cinema dies in 2020 so in 2020 is a is a major landmark year of cinema cinema stopped being something being a public event cinema stopped being uh, kind of released in theaters uh, cinema was vigorously kind of is being vigorously marketed by the industry to be consumed in your ott platforms in bedrooms in drawing rooms in computers in mobiles that is for individual consumption it's no more a communal kind of Uh, matter of communal consumption it's no more about a cu- about 100 people in a darkened theater kind of engaging with a illuminated large piece of screen it's no more that so this is a landmark year of 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 cinema in the history of cinema as such so one can say that um, that the cinephiles don't bother actually if cinema dies in 2021 because they will be happy for their entire lifetime about the digital archive of cinema the uh, the cinema of uh, of the 20th century and the early early decades of 21st century uh, they might not they will to them is it doesn't f- figure that what cinema will be what the local cinema will be what cinema will be in the vernacular so on and so forth so i will end with this kind of this kind of provocative kind of question which i i i didn't have time to elaborate more on or think more think aloud more about that most probably we don't need cinema most probably we don't need a privileged person called like an otior who is who was there who was renowned in 20th century because of his privileges one can say one can think of that can a person a introvert sociopath kind of person like franz kafka or 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 jivananda das can the introvert or a sociopath person like franz kafka or jivananda das be a otior in cinema cinema being such a socially uh, active uh, kind of uh, work involving men money machines and and a certain power and charisma of of the auteur uh, if the if the if the artist if the cinematic artist is not like that mane she jodi ekjon mukchora introvert manus hoy kafka je rokom chilen jibondo je rokom chilen samajik non toto tale tini ki chobi banate parben to me yes but a different kind of cinema using the digital means but not may might be the feature length film which is which is kind of uh, 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 released in the theater Uh, uh, can a neurotic border uh, neurotic who is almost bordering on psychotic can he be a filmmaker can he be can he use his medium like uh, like a uh, a uh, 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 a medium of his artistic expression it is proved that in literature it can be can he be a filmmaker in that sense uh, a, a man who is almost on the verge of breakdown a man without any privileges or without any confidence a man who, who who is who is almost losing it can this kind of figure be a filmmaker in that sense or, or be an otior so these are the questions which uh, with which i am ending uh, this i that that do critics do acad- academicians need cinema to be a medium of art anymore what what does it mean cinema to be a medium of art does it mean the way it this sentence meant meant in the 1950s or 60s or it means something else now what is that something else when we write about cinema are we dreaming about the possibilities of the image 
or are we only describing what images are things like this so i can actually go on uh, because i am not sure about this answers anymore but i think i should stop now right now thank you thank you so much arindada for your insightful presentation and apnar kotha shunte shunte ami bhabchhilam je আমাদের লিটারেচার অ্যান্ড ফিল্ম ক্লাসগুলোতে যদি আপনাকেও পাওয়া যেত তাহলে আমরা খুব সমৃদ্ধ হতাম মৃত সেনাই আমরা যথেষ্ট এনজয় করেছি ক্লাসগুলো নেওয়ার সময় চেষ্টা করেছি আপনি আমাদের আবার নতুন করে ভাবতে শেখালেন সো দেশন ইস না ওপেন ফর কোয়েশ্চেন্স ইফ ইউ হ্যাভ এনি কোয়েশ্চেন্স আই ওয়াজ উই ওয়ার অ্যাকচুয়ালি ওয়েটিং ফর দ্য কোয়েশ্চেন সো ফার আই সি দ্যাট আওয়ার সমৃদ্ধ হ্যাজ অলরেডি পোস্টেড ওয়ান কোয়েশ্চেন আই এম ওয়েটিং ইট আউট যারা যারা প্রশ্ন করতে চান তারা মাইক্রোফোন আনমিউট করে প্রশ্ন করতে পারেন সো সম্পুত কোয়েশ্চেন গোস লাইক দিস ওয়েন উই আর উইন উই ইন দ্য নাইনটিন ফিফটিজ অ্যান্ড সিক্সটিজ ওয়ার থিঙ্কিং অফ আর্ট সিনেমা অ্যাজ এ পসিবিলিটি অফ সিনেমা উই পার হ্যাভ স্পেট থিঙ্কিং অফ সামথিং এলিটিস্ট কনফাইন্ড টু আ সার্টেন গ্রুপ অফ পিপল দেন ওয়াই ওয়ার দ্য আর্ট ফিল্ম মেকারস trying to communicate with the consumer driven commercial cinema like something we point out in Jean Luc Godard's films the references to hollywood hard boiled detectives or wim wenders the american friend orindota this is the question from shambhutho আমি দেখতে পাবো কিছু আসলে এলিটিস্ট টার্মটা টার্মটা এই যে এলিটিস্ট বলে যে টার্মটা এই টার্মটা বলতে একটু ডেরেগেটেড ইন দ্য সেন্স যে এই টার্মটা কিন্তু ওই ওই মেন স্ট্রিম যে ইন্ডাস্ট্রি তার সেই মেন স্ট্রিম ইন্ডাস্ট্রি আর কি কাইন্ড অফ কাইন্ড অফ দে অ্যাকচুয়ালি কাইন্ড অফ ক্রিয়েটেড বিকজ it was a minority cinema minority and elitist doesn't mean the same actually uh, i think it was not um, it was a kind of minority cinema there was i talked about how the auteur would have would be a man of privilege but not necessarily how his cinema can that be of a privileged cinema this is two different things altogether so a person like shotri trai is a privileged person but his films might not be a privileged cinema in that sense ha huh? so erokom ekta to achei ar arekta hocche je mane tomar entire proshno tar jodi uttor dite hoy seta hocche je actually tumi jodi amra jodi aro detail e jai dekhbe actually ei binary te kintu khub ekta kaaj kore na je art ar consumer driven commercial cinema karon ami to bolei chilam je jeta hocche je ki kore যখন কায়েদু সিনেমা ওয়েন দে তারা যখন ডিসকাস করছিলেন দে অ্যাকচুয়ালি ডিসকাস নট অনলি কমার্শিয়াল ফিল্মস দে ডিসকাস বি মুভিস দে ফাউন্ড অটিওস ইন বি মুভিস অ্যাকচুয়ালি সো টু দেম দিস কাইন্ড অফ থিং ডিসেন্ট অ্যাকচুয়ালি অ্যাকচুয়ালি দিস বাইনারি ডিডেন্ট অ্যাকচুয়ালি এক্সিস্ট অ্যান্ড হিয়ার দে ওয়ার ডাইরেক্টলি দ্য ডিসেন্ডেন্টস অফ সুরিয়ালিস্ট বিকজ ইফ ইউ ইফ ইউ রিড অ্যাবাউট সুরিয়ালিজম then you will see that the surrealists were very kind of uh, fond of uh, this this cheap sensational uh, 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 crime films made in hollywood and also the slapstick kind of comedy the violence and uh, violence driven uh, kind of films made in hollywood because they thought that these these these, these things are actually they 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 talk about the edges of bourgeois culture in that sense so this is something they inherited this this engagement with with a, with the with an erstwhile popular cinema but interestingly the 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 otiors i mean this is something uh, i i can say 
that OTOs are people who always kind of engage with the mainstream of their childhood. It's true to all. It's true to kind of uh, the kind of everywhere I can say. This is something I can't actually explain. The, not the mainstream of the now, but the mainstream of the yesteryears. So this entire ex exercise is always imbued with a certain kind of nostalgia, uh, nostalgia on the one hand and mourning on the other hand. Uh, the people who write about cinema, people who love cinema, is all are they are melancholic people who is always talking about a certain cinema which has just died. So they always kind of engage with the cinema of yesteryears. I, I think. Uh, Srimoti Mukherjee, I am a little skeptical of the term sociopath for Kafka and Jiva Ando. They, are pejor they have pejorative, pejorative connotations. I don't know if you, if you um, or if Kafka, Jiva Ando might have a certain kind of, if you read his diaries, there are certain kind of lines which might actually uh, appear objectionable in that sense. To me, sociopath doesn't have a pejorative connotation. To me personally, because uh, I think that there, there might be people who have difficulties regarding being social, and there might be people who are hostile to the society, and they might be actually artists. Artists are not necessarily very good people. They are complex people. Artists are complex people. I thought if that certain kind of people who have difficulties in dealing with other human beings, if they can be good filmmakers, I know that they can be good, good literary artists, they can be good uh, painters, but, um, but, but I, I'm not very sure. Because cinema is most probably too social a medium. আমার মনে হয় তোমরা বলতে বাকিদের জন্য অন্য কোয়েশ্চেন যদি থাকে তোমরা কাইন্ড অফ পড়ে দিতে বলতে সুবিধা হবে লিসনারদের হ্যাঁ সো দা নেক্সট কোয়েশ্চেন যেটা আছে দ্যাট ইজ फ्रॉम নির্ণয় বশাক দা অটিও টার্ম ইজ এন্টায়ারলি ফোকাসড অন ডিরেক্টর দা প্রিন্সিপাল ডিসিশন মেকার অফ আ ফিল্ম বাট ইন সাম কেসেস উই সি দ্যাট সিনেমাটোগ্রাফার লাইক স্টোরারো or actors like Marilyn Monroe and Jean-Paul Belmendo and the whole bunch of method actors, they start to control the screen. How are they placed in audio theory as being author of the cinema? This is a very complex question in that sense. I mean, I can't, cannot be very easily kind of, uh, kind of answered, one can say. But one thing i can be sure because i have talked with cinematographers i have a cinematographer friend i have an i have actors as friends that i can i, I can tell about that that a cinematographer and an actor they look up for a director the director here acts as the first person who envisions a film and the cinematographer or the actor likes this person to 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 show the route where the uh, which the actor or a cinematographer will take many a times an actor or cinematographer doesn't actually like the full freedom one can say but the the question is important in this way one can say that many a times auteur films are actually dialogue between two auteurs uh, like nayok Nayak is a dialogue between Uttam Kumar as a star persona, Uttam Kumar as a, I'm using this term consciously, as a cerebral path-breaking actor, and Shotita. It's a conversation kind of between them. Uh, because what Uttam Kumar did in cinema, his turn towards a kind of nat nat naturalized or, or, or naturalistic acting, has certain kinship to what Shotuita did in Pothe Bajali. So there was this kind of conversation. And one, the, uh, uh, in case of uh, Shotuita, I can see many films, like a film like Charu Lota, where, where, which is like a conversation between Madhuri Mukherjee and, and Shotuita. And Shotuita has always conversed 
a critical converse converse with with uh, eminent writers so we can categorize certain films as a shotwit bibuti bhushan conversation one way conversation or or one can say annotation if not conversation shotjit rai and rabindranath kind of this this bi autoerly system if we can put it that way or shotwitrai munshi premchand bi autoerly system one can say you will see that shotwitrai actually kind of shotwitrai is a bit dissatisfactory when he doesn't have another great autoer literary autoer by his side or another a great actor with whom he can have a kind of a kind of artistic dialogue with like that of like that of chobi bishash or or koruna bandhuwadai or things like uh, so so this is a complex question i think ninoy the presence he were talking about or the control he were talking about this control largely happens for us the spectators the actors or the or the cinematographer as a primary image maker they have a certain spell on us as viewers it not may might not be the entire cinema as such one can uh, but to 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 answer it very in a dissatisfactory way this needs more conversation actually uh, okay arinoda uh, the next question is from tipto chatterjee these days quite often we come across youtubers who themselves write screenplays act themselves in all the roles and also do the camera and editing works so they are almost in full control of the narratives they are telling now these videos are not held to be part of high culture but still can we think that the otier theory is doing a resurgence it are the question okay dekho থিওরি রিসার্জেন্স করতে পারে কিন্তু শুধু রাইটিং এ ঠিক আছে থিওরি ইন প্র্যাকটিস আর থিওরি ইন আর্টিস্টিক প্রোডাকশন এন্ড থিওরি ইন রাইটিং দে আর টু डिफरेंट থিংস অল টুগেদার সো অটিও থিওরি যদি রিসার্জেন্স করে সেটা করবে হচ্ছে শুধু সিনেমা নিয়ে লেখা এবং কথা বলা এবং ভাবায় কিন্তু তুমি যেটা তোমার প্রশ্ন থেকে যে জেনে তোমার প্রশ্নটা খুব খুব ইন্টেলিজেন্ট প্রশ্ন তোমার প্রশ্নটা থেকে মানে অনেক কিছু ভাবার আছে তুমি যেটা বলছো যে অটিওর জিনিসটা কি পুরোপুরি ফিরে আসছে কারণ আমরা দেখেছি এই ফুল কন্ট্রোল ওভার দ্য অ্যাপারেটাস ফুল কন্ট্রোল ওভার দ্য ন্যারেটিভ এক্সেট্রা এক্সেট্রা এটাই ছিল যে অটিওরের ডিজায়ার মানে দ্য ডিজায়ার অফ মানে অটিওরের ডিজায়ার মানে ডিরেক্টরেরও ডিজায়ার ছিল অ্যাবাউট দিস কন্ট্রোল ওভার দ্য মিডিয়াম আর ক্রিটিকরাও ডিজায়ার করতো এমন একজন ডিরেক্টর হু হ্যাজ কন্ট্রোল ওভার দ্য মিডিয়াম সেই জিনিসটা যখন ডিজিটাল মিডিয়ামের পর চলে আসছে তাহলে আমরা কি বলতে পারি যে অটিওর জিনিসটা এই ধরনের ভিডিওতে রিসার্জেন্স হচ্ছে এটা তোমার খুব ইন্টেলিজেন্ট প্রশ্ন কিন্তু পয়েন্টটা হচ্ছে হিয়ার মার্কস দ্য ডিফারেন্স দ্যাট অটিওর সিনেমা ওয়েন ইট ওয়াজ টকিং অ্যাবাউট ইট ইট ওয়াজ আমি যেটা বারবার বলছি ইট ওয়াজ দ্য ইউটোপিয়ান সিনেমা ইট ওয়াজ দ্য সিনেমা অফ ফিউচার পয়েন্ট ইজ মাইকেল আন্তনিয়নির একটা ছবি যদি দেখা হয় বা জালুক গাদারের একটা ছবি যদি দেখা হয় সেই ছবিটা উইল অলসো গিভ আস a possible a, a, a kind of one can say a structure of future films possible future films is it the, a, a, a structure that is not necessarily that of that of machines and control a structure that is a text is about a textual form a form of experience of cinema এই ছবিগুলোতে যেটা দেখা যাচ্ছে এই যে সার্বিক নিয়ন্ত্রণের যে ছবিগুলো তুমি দেখতে পাচ্ছ ইউটিউবে বা অন্য অন্য জায়গায় সেই জায়গাতে জাস্ট এইটাই নেই আমার মনে এইটাই নেই আরেকটা কথা তোমার সেকেন্ড পার্টটা নেই কিন্তু সেখানে আমি এখন বলার মানে সময় নেই তুমি যেটা জিজ্ঞেস করেছো দিস বিউটি ভিডিওস আর নট হেল টু বি পার্ট অফ হাই কালচার আমার ক্ষেত্রে পয়েন্টটা যেটা হচ্ছে ইফ ইউ আস্ক মি কখনো যদি একটা পোস্ট প্যান্ডেমিক সিচুয়েশনে তোমার সাথে দেখা হয় দেন উই ক্যান অ্যাকচুয়ালি টক অ্যাবাউট ইট আই থিঙ্ক আর্ট ইজ নট পার্ট অফ এ হাই কালচার আই 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 থিঙ্ক আর্ট অ্যান্ড কালচার দে মান টু বি দিস ইজ এ ভেরি এক্সেন্ট্রিক মি কাইন্ড অফ বাইনারি আই এম ক্রিয়েটিং ইউ মাই মাই নট এগ্রি টু ইট বেশিরভাগ লোক ডাজেন্ট এগ্রি টু ইট অ্যান্ড বেশিরভাগ কিন্তু লোক ডাজেন্ট থিঙ্ক ইন দ্যাট ফ্যাশন আই থিঙ্ক আর্ট ওয়ার্ক but uh, and there are times when the difference the gap between art and culture uh, kind of is widened 
and should be widened i think art is something which should go against culture art is something which should demolish culture in 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 more than one way Spe- especially in the trying uh, suffering times through which we are going through and during the during the, not only during the pandemic but be, be during during this this era of uh, right wing consumer capitalism uh, so shekhane amar mone hoy art oi oi art cinema high culture কে অভিপসা করতো কিনা জানি না আর্টিস্টরা করতো কিনা জানি না যারা ওই ছবিগুলো দেখতেন তারা চাইতেন তাদের কাছে আন্তোনিয়নি এবং গোদার হাই কালচার কিন্তু গোদারের কাছে তার ছবি হাই কালচার কিনা আমার খুব সন্দেহ আছে এটা নিয়ে পরে কথা হবে হয়তো থ্যাঙ্ক ইউ অনিন্দদা পরবর্তী প্রশ্ন ইজ फ्रॉम দিশা চক্রবর্তী স্যার হোয়াট ডু ইউ মেক অফ দা বার্লিন ফিল্ম ফেস্টিভালস মুভ টু গো ফর জেন্ডার নিউট্রাল অ্যাওয়ার্ডস Though it discards gender binary at one hand, doesn't it endanger the opportunity of women and people from the LGBTQIA plus community to get recognized since the majority of the industry and audience still prefers the heterosexual white male as the director? This is a very complex question actually. Uh, and I, I, অ্যাকচুয়ালি দেখো যে জিনিসগুলো নিয়ে আমি মানে সময়ের হবে কথা বলতে পারিনি যে হয়তো দেখা যাবে যে মেল হেটেরোসেক্সুয়াল আইডেন্টিটির বাইরে হয়তো অটিও টার্মটারই আর প্রয়োজন নেই বা অটিও টার্মটা এক্সিস্টই করে না হ্যাঁ এক ধরনের আইডেন্টিটি পলিটিক্সে অটিও টার্মটাই কিছু এক্সিস্ট করে না ইন দ্যাট সেন্স ইয়ে করতে তুমি যে প্রশ্নটা করেছো সেটা আমি মানে এক কথায় এখন সম্মক দিতে কি বলে আমি উত্তর দিতে পারবো না আমার পয়েন্টটা যেটা হচ্ছে যে এই ভিজিবিলিটি অফ আদার সেক্সুয়ালিটিস আর ভেরি ইম্পর্টেন্ট আমি তো বলেইছিলাম যে কিভাবে যে অটিওডের আইডিয়াটা দ্য ফিগার অফ অটিওড ইজ নট অনলি ভেরি মেল বাট অলসো ভেরি হোয়াইট Anglo Saxon Protestant so so on and so forth incidentally there were eminent homosexual kind of audios like uh, Cocteau like Pasolini so on and so forth but uh, nevertheless the ethnicity is money you money you can't actually in the classical era you cannot actually find a black woman or tear Dorothy Arsner who was uh, uh, Dorothy Arsner or Ida Lupin who were not, not only women but also lesbian directors they were actually discovered much later after they were forgotten kintu amar ekta oshubidha ache in the center culture tar karon ta hocche ei tai seta hocche this culture actually kind of validates or 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 কাইন্ড অফ অ পিস অফ আর্ট ওয়ার্ক বাই দ্য আইডেন্টিটি অফ দ্য মেকার উইচ ইজ এ প্রি গিভেন দিস ইজ অ্যাকচুয়ালি আই থিঙ্ক দ্য অটিওর ক্রিটিসিজম অ্যান্ড আদার ক্রিটিসিজম দে ট্রাই টু এসকেপ ইট দে ট্রাই টু সেট দ্যাট দ্য এক্সপিরিয়েন্স অফ হোয়াট অ অটিওর আর্ট ওয়ার্ক ইজ ইস শুড নট বি অ্যাকচুয়ালি ডিসাইডেড বাই হোয়াট দ্য অটিওর ইজ অলরেডি কিন্তু এই টাইপের যেটা হচ্ছে রিসেপশন এই টাইপের সিনে কালচারে যেটা একটা একদিক থেকে এই যে রাইজিং ভিজিবিলিটিটা এটা যেমন খুব ইম্পর্টেন্ট একটা কালচারাল ইম্পর্টেন্ট জায়গা অন্যদিকে আরেকটা মুশকিল হয়ে যায় সেটা হচ্ছে ইট বিকামস আ ফিল্ম বিকামস কালচারালি ভ্যালিডেটেড উইদ ইন আওয়ার পিয়ার গ্রুপ বুঝতে হবে আওয়ার পিয়ার গ্রুপ দ্য পিয়ার গ্রুপ উই বিলং টু by the identity of the of the maker might be previously so before i see the film the film becomes a good film uh, because it's 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 not it's non normal it made by someone who is non normative a a a easy consumption er ekta easy consumption er ekta kintu risk theke jay bole amar mone hoy jekhane amra we are interested in making the reception and meaning making of a work of art more complex more enriched more nuanced and more um, one, one can say having a bit more longevity longevity that what does it mean what does it mean to 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 experience a film there we should we should like to reach a kind of conclusion about the film 
after taking a long journey rather than a, a very short easy journey so i am not talking about artists i i think i personally i would like sexually minority artists more actually i would like to look at look at their artistic expressions more but i am not actually very interested in a suddenly woke film industry in a suddenly woke festival industry mane tara kibhabe receive korche amar ami khub interested noi karon shekhane amar onek gulo gondogol dekhte pai i am interested in the artist i am in, uh, highly interested in the lgbtq uh, our artist to, to so that they make more films they make more films about lives about their lives but how they circulate how they are received how they kind of uh, they are after life in the culture commercial cultural sphere second and another video gondogol ache bole amar mone hoy i i find problems actually ওকে থ্যাংক ইউ অনিন্দা পরবর্তী প্রশ্ন সুতীর্থ চক্রবর্তী অডিও থিওরি টকস अबाउट সিঙ্গুলারিটি অফ ভিশন বাট ফিল্ম মেকিং ইজ আ কোলাবোরেটিভ এফর্ট এন্ড ইন অ্যাক্টর সেন্ট্রিক ইন্ডিয়ান সায়েন্স স্পেস ডু ইউ থিংক অডিও থিওরি অর দ্য ভিশন অফ দ্য ডিরেক্টর রিয়েলি ম্যাটারস আই থিংক দ্য অডিও আই থিংক as i as i kind of uh, as i mean kind of said that the, the the mainstream corporate corporate capital industry needs the audio so you will see that there will be anurag kashyap films and they are actually searching for another anurag kashyap they they need ramgopal varma films they need actually eminent audios because ekhon tumi je eta bujhte parbe tumi je eta bolcho actor centric indian cinema space seta is no more ekta shomoy chilo jemon 70s e amitabh bachchan ke bola hoto one man industry but but even uh, even the even if you have khan as a title even that does not actually does not actually guarantee any more that a film would actually uh crack mane um, break it mane um, make it good in the box office um the, the, in the cultural space and i am frankly speaking i am joto din jacche thanks to my mane ki bolbe mane increasing age that i have lived half of my life might be i am becoming less less and less interested in what happens in the, in the, of cinema in the cultural sphere Uh, I am utterly hopeless about it. So I am actually not, I am also particularly not bothered about it. Amar ka che, ami je sphere te, that is the sphere where cinema is loved, one can say. Cinema's medium of art is loved, which is important in my life in that sense. Sheikhane a cultural space ta matter kore na. Karna amar ka che, Uttam Kuhar ebang Amitabh Bachchan jerokom জরুরি কতগুলো প্রেজেন্স সেরকমই ঋত্বিক ঘটক ঋত্বিক ঘটক এবং সেরকমই জরুরি জায়গাটা and and i think there are many many still directors whom we uh, whom who we have not actually kind of uh, uh, contemplated much on one of my favorite directors is uh, someone who is very kind of eccentric almost almost bordering to psychotic films uni baniyechilen tar naam hocche partho pratim choudhury amra jani na tum tumra koto jon tar chobi dekhecho তার তিনি শেষের দিকে একটা ছবি বানিয়েছিলেন শুভ কেমন আছো বলে ইয়েতে পাওয়া যায় ইন্টারনেটে পাওয়া যাবে যদু বংশ এবং শুভ কেমন আছো প্রায় নিউরোটিক বর্ডারিং অন সাইকোটিক ফিল্ম বডি অফ দ্য ফিল্ম ইস সাইকোটিক অলমোস্ট নিউরোটিক ইন দ্যাট সেন্স এদের নিয়ে অনেক কাজ করার আছে বলে আমার মনে হয় কিন্তু আমার মনে হয় অন্যদিকে তোমার প্রশ্নটা যদি তুমি যে কালচারাল স্পেসে তুমি বলছো যে অটিওরের কি দরকার আছে ডিরেক্টরের কি দরকার আছে আমার মনে হয় দরকার আছে কারণ আমার মনে হয় স্টার ইজ নো মোর এ ভায়াবল কাইন্ড অফ ব্র্যান্ড নেম ফর এ ফিল্ম টু বি সাকসেসফুল ইটস নো মোর এখন প্রডিউসার ডাইরেক্টররা চলে এসছে সো 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 
uh, Amir Khan as acting in th- Thugs of Hindustan, actually Amir Khan also knows uh, the Amir Khan only as an actor in Thugs of Hindustan. That said, the Amir Khan producing Dangal is more important. So this producer kind of thing, producer he who is almost like a kind of quasi director that is becoming the uh, figure through which they are pitching in in the commercial industry. Uh-huh. Thank you, Anindada. Uh, Sridupa uh-huh. Doctor, Prashno, uh, films of Ritik Ghatak that were all most all or mostly devoid of the so-called man, machine, and power quotients, and that have been deemed great, are itself still testament to both the auteurs and the film's breadth of interpretability. So how have such films that have been considered great or how have the greatness been conditioned in such cases? My question is not specifically about Ghoto, but other such audio figures as well. Uh, question question. How are you sure that Ritik Ghatak's films are mostly devoid of so-called man, man, machine, and power? First of all, cinema doesn't like to be devoid of machines. Machines, are, machines filmmakers love machines. Uh, actually, film viewers also should love machines. We, we are a machine-dependent. We are machine-dependent beings. Uh, we are the we. we we are lovers of machines in a, in a sound, the camera, the sound recording instrument, the editing machine, the projector. I am our body te je chhu jo ekhon to chobi dakha mana body te chobi dakha. I am jeta rat din lament kori jeta hotche je our body te best machine hello kichhu tei kintu cinema theater e je acoustic sound der acoustic seta ami kono dino pabo na. So we love machines. We love infrastructures. How are you sure that Ritik Ghatak's films are devoid of men and power? Think of him. Think of him. He is a kind of supremely charismatic power. My most favorite filmmaker. I, 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 I can die for that man. <laughs> In that sense, he was a favorite filmmaker. But, but his presence is very masculine. His charisma his command, and this is what I actually told about. There, there was something implicitly masculine in the notion of what your cinema, that one who can have this total command over craft, this command oh, many a times comes from not only the gender, but also from the He was a towering kind of personality. He was a towering kind of personality. Shotwita and Ritik Ghatak, they were not only tall beings, not short people like me, but they were people whom, when, who, when they walk into the floor, other people stop talking. So they exude power, exude power in that sense. So I, I, I'm not very sure. This is certain cultural pre-givens of ours, our, ours that the the Jehetuni meaningful art cinema koren. First of all, what art cinema bole so Ritik Ghatak ke chobi ke orkom bhabe bola jai na ki jani na ami. Amar amar mothe Ritik Ghatak ke chobi megeta kathara onto to megeta kathara komul komul gandhar tita shakti no din na. Sheita vision popular hote cha ay chobi huli. Othe ami sheita ami jani na. Kintu jeta hote je ei amra dhori ni je ei certain these are actually these are very complex questions. This this can cinema be devoid of man, machine, and power? Um, I think they are not actually. They are not. Uh, they are great in spite of this presence. At point out, I'm not actually accusing Goto. Point is, an artist has to survive. Gotok is a great example of how difficult it is for an artist to survive, actually, as brilliant as he is. Uh, kind, kind of, he, he would have made more films, actually. 
would have made more films but point is tar jodi ei jinish je je ektu age je jinish gulo kotha bolchilam charisma byaktitto power ittadi tar jodi byaktitte na thakto hoyto dekha jeto tini dutto chobi o korte hoyten na ba tini tinte chobi korlo shegulo tar monomoto korte hoyten na so it became film making becomes a site of struggle it becomes actually it becomes a site where you have to fight out your things where this masculine attributes became became, became very kind of unfortunately necessary one can say amar jeta one can say something which i kind of lament a bit is that the more history has progressed the machines have become cheaper now it is really possible to be a filmmaker without this kind of masculine attributes so on and so forth but in bangla cinema that kind of cinema is not arriving man i'm still waiting for them i'm still wait, waiting for, for for those kind of films which will be a films which exudes a completely different personality all, altogether it's not a film of control it's not a film of control man i i i don't any more like films of control i can actually uh, man a kind of uh, shock you or 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 makes or utter something scandalizing saying that i the way i liked a filmmakers like hitchcock or tarkovsky i don't like them anymore that way i like them in a different kind of way of course but not in that way or or, or a filmmaker like borgman antonioni or something or filmmakers who exude an immense patriarchal one can say of course it's masculine uh, power over me as a viewer where i have less mane uh, they 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 actually they kind of mesmerize me i i don't like this kind of filmmakers anymore who mesmerize me who put me as a spectator under a spell and and uh, i i man who hypnotize me in that sense so most probably i have outgrown those kind of filmmakers but these are attributes we we say that he is hypnotic he's, he this filmmaker is hypnotic mesmerizing he will catch catch you by your throat he will he will catch your attention ei type er jinish amra bole thaki so 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 power is a certain kind of power which is of a masculine masculine type it was an attribute of cinema uh mane what can be other kinds of cinema what kind of cinema which doesn't exude this power or which exudes a different sort of power a masculine sort of power a non masculine sort of power ota ki rokom these are questions which we which we think ami tomar prashnor basic ami tomar hoyto prashner uttor i dilam na karon tomar prashnor bhit ta kei question korche eta ektu bhebo mane eto to bhi bolte pari Thank you, Anindada. Uh, we will take last two questions. Uh, one by Rebonto Gupta, followed by Dr. Mondol. Mm -hmm. uh, Rebonto has asked, "Does poetic cinema have the potential to completely dominate the film industry in the future? Can we expect a departure from the novelistic structure of cinema and the use of the cinematic language of Andrei Tarkovsky in the cinema of the future?" especially in the sphere of mainstream cinema for so, uh, mane ami jodi ektu uh, sorry for me being a bit cavalier but who bothers what happens in mainstream cinema mainstream cinema will move in its own way uh, kind of way uh, so so this kind of cinema tumi je chobir kotha bolcho it doesn't need to dominate film industry মানে দেখো এই টাইপের ছবি কিন্তু কোনোদিন ফিল্ম ইন্ডাস্ট্রি ডমিনেট করতে চাইনি হ্যাঁ ফিল্ম ইন্ডাস্ট্রি ফিল্ম ইন্ডাস্ট্রির মতো থাক তাদের মেইন স্ট্রিম ফেয়ার তাদের মেইন স্ট্রিম ফেয়ার নিয়ে থাক কারুর পোতা মাইক্রোফোনটা একটু মানে মিউট করতে হবে একটু আওয়াজ আসছে ফিল্ম ইন্ডাস্ট্রি তার যে কালচারাল আউটপুটটা সেটা নিয়ে থাক সেটাকে কিন্তু এই আদার সিনেমা ডিস্টার্বও করতে চায় না আদার সিনেমা তার Acknowledged, valued, space 
a little space a space of its own uh, you, you understand that i am i am kind of echoing virginia woolf's room of her own ha huh. serkup this kind of cinema it needs a space of her, of her own if, the, if this cinema is a kind of feminine kind of cinema it needs a space of her own and it needs acknowledgement and it needs to be taken seriously and and it it kind of desires this kind of cinema desires that more and more people and preferably younger people will take it it seriously will be will be will desire it cinema sathe desire a love ei ittadi ittadi shobdo gulo ko associated hoye thake they will desire it with love this kind of cinema so ei ta ek number arekta jeta hocche eta to hoyto tomar sathe amar ektu motamote difference thakbe i think andrei tarkovsky is very novelistic andrei tarkovsky cinema is very novelistic i think because the novel novel form doesn't actually exclude the poetic language right when we can have a novelistic experience a novelistic uh, we had actually we had many novelistic experience where we have a very kind of poetic kind of language uh, it goes well with so andrei tarkovsky kind of uh, cinematic language সেটার একটা নভেলিস্টিক স্ট্রাকচারে হতে পারে তাই ডিপার্চারটার দরকার নেই বরং আমি তোমাকে বলতে পারি যে নভেলিস্টিক স্ট্রাকচার অফ সিনেমাতে যদি তুমি সার্টেন ডিউরেশন এর কথা বলো নট এ ফিফটিন মিনিট ফিল্ম নট এ হাফ এন আওয়ার ফিল্ম বাট এ ফিল্ম অফ কনসিডারেবল লেন্থ সেটা ইজ নিডেড ফর এ আন্দ্রে তারকস্কি এস্থেটিক বিকজ আন্দ্রে তারকস্কি এস্থেটিক ইউ নিড টু অ্যাকচুয়ালি স্যাটেল ইন then take in that entire experience then make the experience your own and you slowly slowly you and that cinema be, become one actually so it needs time actually so one one can say the novelistic structure is needed for and the type of cinema i will kind of uh, here i will kind of di- differ from disagree from you we could think about it in this lines কিন্তু তুমি যেটা বলছো ইজ ইট ইজ ইট এ সিনেমা ফিউচার পয়েন্ট ইজ ইজ ইট ইজ অলরেডি ইট হ্যাজ অলরেডি বিকাম আ সিনেমা ফিউচার মুশকিলটা কোথায় বলো তো দেখো আমরা এই যে আজকে আমরা এখানে বসে আছি আমরা সিনেমা নিয়ে আলোচনা করছি আমরা কিন্তু একমাত্র একটি টাইপের ছবি নিয়ে আলোচনা করছি সেটা হচ্ছে ফিচার লেন্থ ফিল্ম উইচ রিলিজেস ইন থিয়েটার ফিচার লেন্থ ন্যারেটিভ ফিল্ম দেয়ার আর মেনি আদার কাইন্ড অফ সিনেমা there are not only non fictions not only short films there can can be can be a entirely different kind of cinematic experiences and experiments happening in other formats in 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 other kind of platforms which is experienced in other climber kind kind of platforms in the gallery space might be in in a, in a kind of niche kind of space in in a space of a very intimate cinema that is in when you watch a film in your bedroom in your computer in your mobile a kind of cinema which 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 needs this intimate kind of space one to one space with you jeta hocche novel er prothom shotto that behind the novel there is one single author and reading the novel is a one single individual এই রকম সিনেমা কিন্তু এখন সম্ভব এবং সেই সিনেমা হয়তো হচ্ছে কিন্তু আমরা সিনেমা বলতে হেজিমনিকালি যেটা বুঝি ফিচার লেন ন্যারেটিভ সিনেমা তার মধ্যে হয়তো তুমি দেখতে পাচ্ছ না কিন্তু হয়তো ওই সিনেমা অফ দ্য ফিউচার ইজ মোস্ট প্রবাবলি ইটস ইটস হ্যাপেনিং এলসওয়্যার ইটস হ্যাপেনিং সামওয়্যার এলস অ্যাকচুয়ালি অ্যান্ড আই থিঙ্ক ইট ইট হ্যাজ ইট ডেফিনেটলি হ্যাজ এ ফিউচার অফ ইন সিনেমা মানে পয়েন্টটা হচ্ছে দ্য সিনেমেটিক ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ অফ আর্ট আন্দ্রেই তারকোভস্কি ইট হ্যাজ এনজয়েড ইটস ফিউচার ইন সিনেমা অ্যান্ড দ্যাট এনজয় দ্যাট মোমেন্ট ইজ পাস্ট নাও বাট মুভ অন তারকোভস্কির চাই তো মুভ অন করবে তারকোভস্কি হ্যাড বিন দ্য তারকোভস্কিয়ান ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ হ্যাজ হ্যাজ নট অনলি হ্যাজ ভেরি কাইন্ড অফ ওয়ার্ড দিস সাকসেসার্স বাট অলসো ইটস ইটস অলসো কাইন্ড অফ adapted into non tarkovskian films look at film like uh, un, uh like last one three are sanitized it's what a tarkovskian horror film might be like and uh, so on and so forth okay uh, 
Uh, Anandut, I have uh, uh, last question. <laughs> First of all, thank you very much for this extremely <laughs> thought-provoking lecture. Um, mm. Counterintuitive in many ways. Uh, mm. So I was just thinking that you have very specifically defined, and rightly so, that the author is fundamentally a white uh, Anglo-Saxon Protestant heterosexual figure. Uh, mm -hmm. It's historical. So, mm -hmm. uh, uh, so you have also worked on Shotit Rai and the question of autism. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking mm -hmm. that is it possible to think about Bangla cinema or non-Western cinema, non-white uh, director in terms of uh, the theory of autism, which has its limitations, as you rightly pointed out. And this, mm. this because uh, in literature and in film studies, perhaps, but in literature departments, we try to use theory to uh, mm. understand uh, cinema. And uh, you mm. has been so interesting that I'm sure many students would be interested in applying, quote unquote, applying mm. audio theory to, let's say, Indian cinema. Mm. Uh, so mm -hmm. something that we can do at all, provided that you have talked about the limitations of the concept. Huh. Uh. দেখো না লিমিটেশনস অফ কনসেপ্ট বলিনি আমি যেটা বলেছি সেটা হচ্ছে যে when this term was concept as usual that the term can have so many so many unarticulated implications তার যে এতগুলো এপিথেট এবং অ্যাডজেকটিভ থাকতে পারে সেটা সেই সময় ভাবা হয়নি যথারীতি মানে within a decade or so within a decade or so feminist film theory feminist cinema, feminist auteurs, they arrived within a just turn of the turn of the money of a uh, one and a half decade of it. Number Chobi Ba feminist film criticism, Tarabole, the A term limited. They didn't turn to do away with the term. Money in my my understanding of the things, someone might say actually put it differently, that they didn't actually say to, to, to denounce the term. They said that this term needs to be expanded. That there can be an woman or your and there can be a, a, a non-heterosexual or your and there not only that, there had been. Because Dorothy Arsnar, when I was talking about it, Dorothy Arsnar, it was a classical era. Uh, era. Manam Dorothy Asnar was most probably the only singular woman director during that time. And that also be not only a woman, but also a lesbian. And she was forgotten, actually. Not man, canonized, so honey, forgotten. Think that it was a romantic period. I was in the 1990s, 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 Jara Panjon director Chilen, Orokumbai Jantam, the romantic poets Kara, Jaraote, the Bylan, Bylan, Coleridge, Watsworth, Kate, Shelley, Ita, the Rach, Pasta, Chilen, Nambola. In the Poretomra, Jeta Budichi, that was the period when, when lots and lots of women they wrote actually in a very kind of energetic new kind of way. We canonization to problem. Problem to the canonization. Dakajabe Hoito. J J a non privileged Tamra Jodi Boli. Non hegemonic, non privileged identity locera erocom ache filmmaker sache. Ak hoche critic rata de dicta bachanagi. Arita hoche tara survive kota bachanagi. Can otior howard acta on no tomo condition hoche otior ke akadik chobi hotai. There cannot be a single film otior. A, a single film otior setani aske kothabala uh, sujuk pilamna. A single film auteur is almost an impossibility, one can say. Point of Chetai, point of Chetai, filmmaking is as, as a, unlike literature, filmmaking is a site of so vicious struggle that privileges kind of help a filmmaker to survive. So, so, so the privileged filmmakers, they have survived well. And the non privileged, non, non -privileged filmmakers, they have not survived well. Eitai Hoche Moskil. Kitu Idaning Jetahoche Jetahoche last one one couple of decades is completely different. Jekane diversification ta now is a cultural need. Erage diversification was a political, one can say, a political kind of demand. Now it has become a cultural need where uh, 
আই থিঙ্ক থিংস আর চেঞ্জিং ইন টু কমপ্লিটলি ডিফারেন্ট থিংস অল টুগেদার কিন্তু যেটা হচ্ছে আমার তুমি যদি তুমি বাংলা সিনেমার কথা বললে সেটা নিয়ে আমি দুটো কথা একটু বলে রাখি তুমি শুধু পুরুষ আইডেন্টিটি তো বাদই দাও আমাদের মুসলমান অটিওর কজন আছেন বাংলা সিনেমায় এটা একটা ভাবতে হবে এপার বাংলার কথা আমি বলছি আমাদের ভাবতে হবে আমাদের উচ্চ জাত যে মানে যে মানে উচ্চ বর্ণ যে গুলো যে আইডেন্টিটি গুলোকে বলি তার নিচের কজন আছে কজন ফিল্ম মেকারকে আমরা পাবো নিম্নবর্ণ ফিল্ম মেকার কজন পাবো নিম্নবর্ণ ফিল্ম মেকিং মানে কি একজন নিম্নবর্ণ মানুষই যে যদি ফিল্ম মেকিং করতে যান সেরকম কিন্তু মেন স্ট্রিম ইন্ডাস্ট্রিতে পাওয়া যাবে ইটস নট অ্যাবাউট দ্যাট ইটস অ্যাবাউট দ্য এক্সপিরিয়েন্স অফ বিইং a uh, lower caste person it's about the vision of a lower caste person it's about the perspective of a lower caste person so even if someone is a lower caste director in taliganj he might not actually present the 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 the, 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 the that kind of vision that kind of thing ami to aro arekta dike arek dhoroner binary o toiri korbo amar ami ebar tomader la tomoke last je binary ta debo seta think of it ক্যান দেয়ার বি এ ফিল্ম মেকার অমিয় ভীষণ মজুমদারের মতো সতীনাথ ভাদুরির মতো যারা কোনোদিন কলকাতার লেখকই ছিলেন না মফুসলের ফিল্ম মেকার হওয়া যায় মফুসলের অটিওর হওয়া যায় একজন কি অটিওর হতে পারে কলকাতাতে না এসে একজন কি মেট্রোপলিটান না হয়ে অটিওর হতে পারেন টেকনিক্যালি ইয়েস এখনকার স্টেট অফ টেকনোলজি যা তাতে দিস ইজ হাইলি পসিবল বাট ইট হ্যাজ নট বিন পসিবল ইন বেঙ্গলি সিনেমা ইন লাস্ট থ্রি টু ফোর ডিকেটস এইটা কেন হয় না তার জন্য কালচার যে জন্য আই ডোন্ট লাইক কালচার কালচার অ্যান্ড ইডিওলজি কমস ইন টু প্লে ইন এ ইন এ ভেরি কমপ্লেক্স ফ্যাশন সো ইভেন ইফ দ্য মিনস আর দেয়ার দ্যাট দেয়ার ক্যান বি অ্যান অটিওর লিভিং ইন বীরভূম a not your filmmaker there can be a not your filmmaker living in north bengal or there can be an not your being uh, filmmaker who is an adivasi so on and so forth one one can talk about many many identities it's possible it's possible we have the cinema history of bengali cinema is history of a very shantipuri metropolitan culture ভীষণ কলকাতা কেন্দ্রিক ভীষণ হিন্দু ভীষণ উচ্চ বর্ণ এবং ভীষণ যেটা হচ্ছে নাগরিক এর বাইরে যে নানাবিধ মানুষ আছেন এর বাইরে যে নানাবিধ বাংলা ভাষা আছে সেটা সিনেমা শোনেনি সেটা সিনেমা শোনাতে পারে না এর বাইরে যে নানাবিধ জীবনযাপন আছে এর বাইরে যে নানাবিধ রকম এক্সপিরিয়েন্স অফ টাইম এক্সপিরিয়েন্স অফ স্পেস এক্সপিরিয়েন্স অফ মিনিং আছে আউটসাইড কলকাতা আউটসাইড দেশ রাদার হিন্দু মিডিল ক্লাস আপার কাস্ট কলকাতা সেটা বাংলা সিনেমায় কতটুকুই এসছে বাংলা সিনেমা ইস কলকাতা সিনেমা অ্যান্ড দেয়ার ফর মেনি এ টাইমস আই ডোন্ট ফিল ভেরি ইন্টারেস্টেড ইন বাংলা সিনেমা এনি মোর বিকজ ইটস এ ভেরি কলকাতা কেন্দ্রিক সিনেমা সো এই যে আদার সিনেমাস এটা ইজ নাও হাইলি পসিবল কিন্তু পয়েন্টটা হচ্ছে এগেন যে জিনিসটা নিয়ে আমি শেষ করেছিলাম আমার কথা বলাটা যে ইজ ইট ডিজায়ার্ড কেউ ডিজায়ার করলেই ফিল্ম থাকবে যদি ভিউয়ার ডিজায়ার করে তাহলে এই ছবি থাকবে আসবে যদি ফিল্ম মেকার্সরা ডিজায়ার করে তাহলে আসবে যদি অ্যাকাডেমিয়া ডিজার্ভ ডিজায়ার করে তাহলে আসবে আমাদের ক্রিটিক্যাল ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ কি ডিজায়ারের ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ দিস ইজ মাই লাস্ট কোয়েশ্চেন দি ইজ দ্য ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ অফ ক্রিটিসিজম ইজ দ্য ক্রিটিক্যাল ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ দ্য ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ অফ থিয়েরি a language of desire does it desires this is my last question if it desires this terms will be there i think thank you anindoda for uh, patiently answering the questions and also engaging in discussion uh, we will now end the presentation but before that uh, i will request sri rupa to develop the uh, to deliver the vote of thanks and please be noted that uh, this presentation and uh, along with the questions and answers it will be uploaded on youtube so those of you who couldn't attend can listen to it afterwards uh, i request sri rupa to uh, deliver the vote of thanks
শিরোপা শোনা যাচ্ছে না তো সরি for moderating the session with his outstanding expertise on provoking thoughts among his students and also welcoming riveting questions on today's talk thank you sir i would also extend my heartfelt thanks to professor priyanka das for taking care of the initial preparations and arranging everything in a compact manner without her today's webinar would not have been a success thank you ma'am Next up I would like to thank Dhritimoy Sharkar from UG2 for designing the poster for the talk of the month. Thank you Dhritimoy. I would also like to thank Sporsho Bormun from UG2 for taking care of the social media broadcasting of today's talk of the month. Thank you Sporsho. I would now like to thank our head of the department Professor Mohit Shmondul for gifting us the winding talk of the month in the midst of such calamitous situations. Thank you sir for arranging such fascinating talks for us last but not the least i would like to thank the students the faculty members and scholars from within and outside presidency who have graced the occasion and made the event a success with this we would end our talk of the month on what was the author in cinema do we need him any more thank you everyone thank you Thank you, Anandada. Thank you, Sri Rupa. Thank you, Mohitosh. Uh, we now conclude the presentation and the speech. Thank you, everyone.